I have a huge Woolworths grocery haul for my family of seven. This grocery haul is for a whole fortnight's worth of meals. It's 14 days for our family of seven. So I'm going to show you what I've got, then I'm gonna go through the meal plan, and then I'll go through the totals at the end. Here we go. Okay, so where to begin? We've got like two little overflow chairs here because it didn't all fit on the table. So let's just begin down here with the cans. So we've got quite a few cans. We've got some black beans, some tomato puree, some salsa. I've got two cans of corn. I've got two cans of refried beans. I believe I have two, four, six, eight, ten cans of the diced tomatoes. And I have two, oh, that's the diced tomatoes there. I have, where are they? It's like, which one is which? I have, there we go, two cans of the Mexican style beans as well. So that, oh, and some tomato puree, I think I said that, and three cans of dog food. Let's go over to the other overflow chair. Hopefully you can't see my floor that needs mopping. I've got two packets of sweet and salty popcorn, uh, two big bunches of bananas, some green ones and some yellow ones, and two bags of oats. All right, we are now in the meat department. So I've got some turkey breast mince. Oh my goodness, this price has gone up. These were $10 each. I was like, what? Turkey used to be like the budget meat and it's getting more expensive. We've got two um, pork and veal. I wouldn't have gotten pork and veal except that it was just so much cheaper than getting beef. So we've got pork and veal. I've just got some of these crumb chicken breast fingers and a big batch of chicken breast there. I've got um, two packets of the pork. How do you say this? Chipotle? Chipolitas, I just call them breakfast sausages, okay? So we have those for breakfast sometimes. So two packets of those. And we've also got um, salmon. Oh, the salmon with the skin on that we usually get was out, but these were really decently priced. So there's just two in there. So we've got two boxes and I think they were like $6.50 per box. So still a bit dear, but cheaper than the other <laughs> available salmon that was on offer. Okay, we've got lots of biscuits. So. Uh, Dave and I both run um, connect groups throughout the week. It's sort of like a home group. So some people from church come, we do a Bible study, that sort of thing. So we always need bickies and that sort of thing. So I haven't had much of a supply and I'm like, I'm stocking up. So we've got the Arnott's Royals, yam. I'm sure the kids will be hoping that there are leftovers. The Chalky Mints and, oh, these are so yummy. The Caramels as well. Okay, lots of yogurt this week. I realized that we've just gone... Um, at least a week without yogurt. I think the kids all ate the yogurt within the first week of the last haul. So we are ready for yogurt. These were all on sale for a dollar, the, the Valia kids, and then also just the, the family pack of, what is this brand? The Play. We've got two cartons of cottage cheese and a cream cheese. We've also got four sour creams, a table spread, and the real butter. It's so good, oh my goodness. If you've ever tasted the difference between this and this, it's like incomparable. I was just having this and I'm like, yeah, it's nice until I had this and now I'm like, oh. So I'm using this more to cook with and this is for toast and that sort of thing. The family seems to love it. We've got some Chobani as well. Two big family size blocks of cheese. Remember this is for two weeks, a fortnight. We've got some pickles. All right, we've just got some cheese snacks. They're like the Worstler snacks. Pop-tarts were on sale. We don't get them all the time, but when we do get them, we love them. So we've just got the brown sugar and cinnamon. So two boxes of those. And also the strawberry, that's my favorite, the strawberry flavor. Although they are the kids, the kids eat them, but I like to have a bite. I try to take a bite of everybody's, well, not everyone's, but whoever will share with me. Okay, fruit. I'm having a fruit dilemma. There just doesn't seem to be much fresh fruit available, at least not online. Um, there's a little bit, but not that much. So it's good. We've still got a lot of leftover apples and that sort of thing from Costco. But <laughs> these were pretty cheap. I can't even remember. And look, might not be the healthiest, but it's delicious. And there's still some nutrition in it and the kids love it. So they're happy to eat those. So some peaches and some two fruits in juice. I've got two of these brown rice cups. We've just gone back to the original whole grain chicken. We like the oriental ones. They weren't bad, but <laughs> the kids like the chicken ones more. Oh my goodness, okay. I don't have time to tell you now, but basically these are the noodles that Dave and I are in love with. And I went to Costco and bought an entire box of what I thought were these, and they're not. It's a completely different flavor. <laughs> so I need to like find someone who likes that flavor and give them away because it's a whole box. 
This is the flavor we love. It's the um, Indomay Mi Goreng noodles. They are so, so good. We like to have some garlic with some sea salt. Oh, it's hard to explain, but it's so good. We've got a lot of thin egg noodles here. I'm using that for a couple different dishes. Crumpets were on sale, uh, like really well priced. So I thought I'll just freeze some of those um, and put the rest in the fridge. These English muffins are always really well priced. I just got some tortillas because I always like to get those. We got some white bread and some whole grain bread. And I've still got quite a bit of bread left over from the last shop. Just one red onion all on its own. Three packets of taco seasoning, um, some macadamia oil. We've got some lasagna sheets under here. Okay, I've got these mandarins that look beautiful. Um, they weren't, I thought they were... I didn't know that they were um, individually, what's the word? You know, not wrapped, not in a packet, which is fine. I'm fine with that. It's just, it's looking very fresh sitting there all in its own. Okay, where are we at? I think I said we've got a full cream as well. All right, yes, soda water, soda water crazy. Okay, the story with the water in Canberra, it goes like this. It's safe to drink, but at the moment, there is not the best flavor to the water. It's just, it's a weird taste and it's, through the news and the newspaper, lots of people are complaining about it. I don't mind it, but I don't love it. And I do love soda water. So it doesn't seem to bother the kids all that much. And I've also got some cordial <laughs> to help flavor the water over there. But for now, I just prefer the soda water. And we always seem to just run out. Like I get eight bottles and by the second week, we're already out. So I'm like, okay, let's just get a bulk amount. They're only a dollar each. We're fine with that. Okay, where are we? We've got four packets or four bags of frozen cauliflower we've got some stir fry vegetables some green steamed vegetables okay this must have been one of those things where i ordered green frozen peas of course they're green but they're peas but i ordered frozen peas and then found a cheaper one and put that in the cart online thinking that i'd go back and cancel this one but i didn't but that's okay we'll use both it's not a problem i'm sure we will use that at some point and can go free that Two bags of the potato minis. It's just like tater tots. Let me come over this side. Okay, we've got two of the um, Sunkiss Zero Sugar. I usually just buy the one big bottle, but that wasn't available. All our kids love sarsaparilla, especially Joseph. And so on Sundays after church, we usually have like a family movie night. We have some yummy food. So I thought that would be really special. The four kids, we have five, but only four will drink this. Um, will enjoy their own special bottle. I thought, look how cute they look too. They're like the old fashioned ones. Um, and then the Coca-Cola mini bottles, all the Coca-Cola range was on sale. So I've got Coke Zero, but the, the real Coca-Cola and all the other ones, Sprite and all of that. These were really well priced, very much well priced. So I don't usually get them, but because they're on sale, I thought, hey, it's special. Again, with Connect and people coming over, it's just easier to be able to give them a bottle of drink and that sort of thing. And I'm sure our family will enjoy it as well. Okay, we've got 10 packets of the sweet and salty individual. We've got 10 packets of the original popcorn. I have got two big bags. There goes the popcorn. Of mission style white corn chips. Needed clean wrap, needed aluminium, or alum, oh my goodness, aluminium foil. It's not very exciting, but it was needed. Um, we've got quite a bit of cereal, so I didn't need to get that much. So we've just got the honey poppers. That's a really big box. I don't know if you can see this, but that's a really decent sized box. It's like, you know, Aldi, how they sell the huge cereal boxes. This is the one that Woolworths does that's really big. We've also got some of these um, Red Rock Deli selection potato chips. For the kids or guests, whoever wants them, they can have them. We've got some cordial. Again, we needed some body wash, really needed some bubble bath. The kids needed some shampoo and conditioner. So they've just got the um, the coconut and lime one. It's very budget friendly. It does the job. Again, not really fancy, but it does the job, the soap. Okay, this is a mystery to me. This is a mystery to me. I don't know why I have one green apple. Did I order this? Did I mean to order more? Did they just put it in my order like it was someone else's? I don't know. I do think that I did try to order a couple or a few green apples, but maybe I did and I just didn't do it right. Who knows? That's for a Polish salad recipe and I do need more than one apple. So <laughs> it's okay. I have a few more left, but the green is the flavor I really need. Um, I've got some celery. 
Okay, where are we up to? Got all those beautiful mandarins. Just the little um, baby cucumbers. Cucumbers are so expensive. Didn't matter how you bought them, they were going to cost through the roof this week. We've got some pumpkin for our pumpkin soup. I think I said already the thin corn crackers, the cheese flavor. Okay, we've just got the Woolworths disinfectant wipes they, they're great but they're really nice scent to them as well and they're budget friendly always needing nappies still for miss may and five packets of baby wipes let's move to the other side of the table and see what i haven't covered i think i've got most of it we've got three cartons of free range eggs they upgraded me which is wonderful i got the Woolworths free range but they were out and so they gave me these ones i'm happy with that some tomatoes again so expensive a big oh gosh so expensive and there I go and drop them. Um, some baby leaf spinach to the dairy section. We've got the, just the poppers, the milk poppers for the kids for Sunday mornings. We've got the long life um, whipped cream, well, whipping cream. We use that for our coffees. That's just a really nice milk. It's got the cream on top. And then we've got 20 liters of long life milk. Now I do believe that I have gotten everything and I'm so out of breath, so I really hope so. Alrighty, so I have put a bunch of the cold stuff away and some of the fresh produce as well. That's why the table is looking a little bit less crowded. I'm just gonna go through my meal plan. So just keep in mind, this is for two weeks. This is a fortnight worth of food for my family. So it's Wednesday. Today, uh, we're having leftover soup, leftover chicken soup that I had from yesterday. Thursday, we've got planned some spaghetti and salad. Friday night will be taco soup. Saturday night is pumpkin soup. I wanted to get the dinner rolls, but they were all out. I couldn't get them. So I don't know, I might just make some muffins myself or do some cheese toasties, something like that with the pumpkin soup. Sunday, again, I know I say this often, but you know, it is a, a Polish thing, we're having some Polish food. We'll get the hams and the breads and the cheese and all of that. Monday, we've got some salmon and sweet potato and um, probably apple carrot salad planned tuesday we've got chicken and dumplings i'll put that in the slow cooker and let that cook all day that will be wonderful wednesday we've got some cauliflower soup and i've just got some soup crackers we'll probably serve that with as well or maybe i'll swap that around and do that with pumpkin who knows i'll be creative uh thursday night we've got capsicum mints friday night will be again next week will be polish school um, but my mum will be visiting and so while the kids are in polish school in the evening we will probably take my mum out to a restaurant which will be nice saturday night we are planning taco casserole that's going to be such a busy day i'm getting sidetracked i'm not going to get into it it's going to be a busy day so taco casserole it's really easy to just chuck together put it in the oven and it's really yummy and everybody loves it um, Sunday, we've got some lasagna planned with the salad. Monday, I'll do some sort of a chicken stir fry. And Tuesday, we've got friends visiting us. Our best friends are coming to visit us all the way from Penrith. So I will cook a big pot of taco soup because it's very kid friendly. And I just it just never goes wrong. I am going to do a video on this recipe. I did one a very long time ago and I wasn't happy with it because I did it like in the slow cooker and that it's so much easier and it's just such a simple recipe to throw together. So I plan on making an updated video on the taco soup that our family so very much loves. And if you watch these grocery hauls regularly, you will, I guarantee you will always see taco soup on our meal plan somewhere. Okay, so the total for this fortnight was quite a lot less than what it has been lately, which I'm very grateful for. I did not shop at Costco this fortnight. I just gone to Woolworths. I went online for a few different reasons. Um, still love Costco, planning on going there again for the next shopping trip, but we are really good as far as like our bulk items. I just didn't need any more bulk and the majority of things I needed, I could just get, you know, a single sort of item. So I got them from Woolworths this week. Um, and so because of that, because there was nothing bulk bought, um, the price was significantly lower, which is wonderful. So the total came to $593.18 for a whole fortnight for our family of seven. Okay, and if you take $593.18 and you divide that by 14 days, that comes, that comes down to $42.73 per day for our whole family. And if you wanna divide that number by seven people, that comes down to $6.05 a day. And if you wanna go even further and divide that into three meals, and that's including all the snacks and everything else, we're only spending about $2.17 
per person per meal. So I'm pretty happy with that. So that is it for my grocery haul. Thank you so much for watching. If you, that's my dog, he wants to come in. If you enjoy grocery hauls and meal plans and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you would. And if you are back, I truly appreciate you so much. Thank you. I will see you very soon with another video. God bless you. Bye.